Hi, welcome to our Fetter YouTube channel. Today is a build day. We're doing two things. We're gonna change the turbo. We're gonna install propane injection on this bitch. So that's gonna involve taking the current turbo and crap out of there. We're gonna swap the water lines over the propane injection because you gotta use the heat from the motor in the coolant to vaporize the liquid propane. And then we're gonna have to weld up a new exhaust up pipe. But otherwise, this should in theory be pretty straightforward because I should have all the stuff to do it. Off we go. Here's the GT20, which is what we're putting in. There's the GT17, aka Chinese Turbo, that we're taking out. Nothing against the Chinese Turbo. If you can look, you can kind of see that this housing here is a little bit thicker. It's just overall a bit bigger than this housing here. And that's the main difference between these two turbos. So. The GT20 flows more air because it's housings more so than the actual uh, cartridge slash impeller itself is a little bit bigger and made to take that extra flow. So hopefully we're gonna make a bit more boost with this slightly bigger turbo, but they're very similar as you can see. <laughs> Setting this face with relation to this face with relation to the oil fittings. But the way I'm trying to clock it, this doesn't fit or line up with the actual wastegate begin. So, we're not going to use it. And so in lieu of that, because I pretty much just want to close gate, gaze weight, get wasted. Wastegate is we're going to take a nut and we're actually going to weld it to the turbo so that I can just screw a bolt into the wastegate and make it physically lock shut on the inside, and then I don't have to run any of that garbage in the outside of the turbo. So, should look kind of clean. It's a little bit of a hack way around having this internal wastegate, but we're basically just gonna get rid of it because we don't need it. So, you can see, you can't really, but down in here is the actual wastegate actuator, uh, or, or the, the flap is right there, and that gets triggered normally off of this piece here. So all I did is I welded a nut to the inside of this exhaust flange, and then I put this uh, I put this bolt through it. So the bolt presses directly on the back of that, that gate, and uh, it's not going to open now. This turbo no longer has a wastegate. Perfect. So you need access to the back, so you can't put it there because I don't want to try to take the fender off and put it on. Well, we're doing propane injection on the rabbit, and so, uh, I did some reading the other day, as I sometimes do, and I had never heard of propane on rabbits, and I was deep in a forum about something, and someone mentioned propane, so I had to look it up. Anyhow, on diesel applications, we're talking any diesel application, you can see as much as a 25% horsepower increase from adding propane injection to your diesel. Any application. And so, uh, in a lot of places, it's used on like, let's say, big rigs, any kind of hauler towing setup because you essentially add the propane to the setup and you get a more efficient burn so you burn the fuel more completely which gives you more power that's where that power increase comes from is that complete burn of the diesel fuel and because you're burning it more completely and making better power for haulers you can actually dial your fueling back a little bit and so they actually get better fuel economy as a result of getting better power out of the same amount of fuel for us we're not dialing anything back we're dialing it all up Going for that 25 horsepower increase. That should be pretty good. I'm excited. Any chance you want to be a doll and go cut this for me? What? A hacksaw? <laughs> yeah. Well, I could. I guess I could angle grind it, but. All right. This is objective. <laughs> Alright, 
Okay, we just installed GT2052 Turbo. Honestly, it went better than expected. Though I guess I have a broken manifold now, so I have to take it all back apart. Do that another day. And I installed the propane. I didn't wire it yet. It's not functional, but it's all in there. So the tough part's done. Right now, I'm about to test start with it still on stands. The new setup, make sure it's not leaking anywhere. And then we're gonna go for a dryer and see what we make for boost. Mind you, this is without propane. It's just the different turbo. So we kind of get a one-to-one -one comparison here. test drive and it works like it doesn't work well we made like 15 pounds of boost i also noticed the manifold's broken so that might contribute to it but i was really expecting this one to make more boost than the gc17 i have a hard time believing it's too big that would be likely what's happening but i don't know could just I don't know! I'm probably gonna start by welding that manifold, not today, because I'm annoyed, but I'm gonna weld that manifold back, because that could definitely be contributing to the lack of boost, because you're missing out on all that exhaust flow. And then, I'm gonna check for boost leaks, and then probably take it for one more test drive, just to double double check that this turbo actually doesn't really fit the application. And assuming it's still not great, then I'll probably put the 17 back on because that thing was pretty, pretty rocking, honestly. And then the propane is still needing to be tuned in and everything else. So, still good stuff to work on. Kind of befuddling though, because I assumed this would be kind of a fucking slam dunk. Thanks for tuning in. Catch me another time. See what's happening with the car.